With Halo MCC's recent release, we have 100 new tiers to grind through for Season 6. So in this video, I'm going to give you the tips and tricks of how to rank up fast and unlock everything as quickly as possible within the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. With the release of Season 6, there are more ways than ever to spend your seasonal points and rank up better in the MCC, but in this video we're going to exactly how to go about doing that. The main point of focus you need to put on is on your challenges within this season. So if you guys like these news and tips and trick kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So like I said at the top of this video, you want to keep track of your challenges. Where you find those, you go to options and career, and then you go over to the challenge hub right here. This is where you'll find your weekly PVP, PVE, and seasonal challenges. Currently, there are three seasonal specific unlocks. The Another Sunrise Anime Advisor, the Azure Tech Suit for your undersuits, as well as the Board and Sword for your backpack accessory. Each one of these challenges requires you to complete two challenges on top of that. So each new set of challenges within the MCC for Season 6 will help you towards unlocking a new item to help customize your character. Each challenge will earn you a seasonal point right here. Some are 3, 4, 2, varying on the difficulty, and also some more XP. Though there is an interesting thing from the recent development update that doesn't exactly line up with what they said about Season 6 compared to Season 5. In the recent development update, they said players will also earn XP through challenges, increasing the rate at which they level up. We've increased the XP payouts for some challenges with Season 6, so this will be even faster than before. But when I actually crunched the numbers, this is kind of how it ended up looking. For Season 5, for the first week, we had 5 seasonal points for weekly PvE and PvP challenges. With Season 6, we have a potential of 6 seasonal points earned for PvP and PvE challenges. But when I crunch the numbers when it comes to total XP, we have the exact same amount of total XP for the weekly available total for XP and we have a little bit more for PvE when it comes to Season 6 but such a small amount it's rather negligible. And for the overall seasonal points, we actually earning less season points for the seasonal challenges and a touch more XP, 5,000 more XP. Now I did reach out to some members of 343 involved with the MCC talking about this saying, hey, it's kind of negligible the amount of XP that we're earning, even though you said we would be earning more XP than before. As soon as I hear back, I'll let you guys know about that. But essentially what you want to do is focus on your seasonal challenges throughout the entire playthrough for the next two months, but try to find ways where you can synergize that along with your PVE and PVE. EP challenges. So for example, you can do the point guard challenge, which is essentially you get to earn points for either assist, one point, two points for a kill, and three points for a headshot. Uh, totaling up to 1500 points unlocks you this challenge, which gets you one step closer to earning the sword and board unlock. Now I suggested playing SWAT because headshots are super easy within that mode. You can also do infection if you'd like, but try to synergize that with your weekly PVP stuff. For, so for example, here we have the bookends, which is complete match made games in reach or CE. You can also combine that if you play well with podium finish, complete a match made game as one of the top three players that earns you one seasonal point and 20k XP. Multi thrill, which is earned multi kill medals, which is super easy to do in SWAT, which also synergizes with spree real estate, which is earned multi kills and spree medals within PVP matches, which complete that Seasonal challenge gets you one step closer to completing the double up. Also win social games. I believe this was like win three social games. Gets you one season point and 20k XP. So you can see how you can kind of combine these different challenges together to where you can really optimize your game time for your leveling up to earn more seasonal points and XP the most efficient way possible. There was a good combination here you can pull off with non-profit organization and story score. These are both PvE focused challenges. Non-profit means you have to kill enemies. The more you kill, the, the higher difficulty those enemies are the more points you earn grand total of 7,000 gets you this unlock which gets you one step closer to completing the package deal to get you the another sunrise challenge you can team that up with cannon fodder which is defeat light infantry enemies in a pve modes like campaign firefight Barn ops and things like that. You can team that up with car alarm, which does obviously means destroy vehicles at at least normal difficulty or higher. Narrative navigator, complete campaign missions or sparring ops missions and earn additional progress 
for completion on higher difficulties, and also from the beginning, complete campaign missions in Reach or Halo CE. But completing all these together, we probably want to do like a Halo Reach or Halo CE mission that has a very strong vehicle focus so you can double up on killing your infantry guys. Higher difficulty guys would help you with the score, story scoring challenge as well as completing your missions within Reach or CE. And if you could do it within 20 minutes with that mission, that gives you more XP, more seasonal points to earn. For Reach missions, you can try out the mission New Alexandria, which is, it makes you kill a lot of different Saras and Banshees and stuff like that. Great to take out your vehicles and infantry guys on that mission. A lot of good variation there. Long Night of Solace, if you spawn in at the Bravo checkpoint, it puts you right into the space section, so you can just destroy a ton of vehicles and a ton of enemies there as well. For Combat Evolved, you might want to try out the Two Betrayals mission, as there are going to be a lot of vehicle usage in that one as well. Again, doubling up on your missions to complete CE or reach, doubling up on your vehicle kills, doubling up on your infantry kills as well. Obviously these are weekly challenges so they will trade out every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time but you can kind of see at the point where I'm getting at here you want to synergize this with starting off with like your seasonal challenges right here like say like complete 50 match made multiplayer games well that sounds pretty generic and easy right but if you time that with your PvP stuff to play specific types of missions and different games and modes and stuff like that it can really help you grind and rank up a lot faster within the MCC. This is a very good practice to get yourself ready because when you want to go through the 100 tiers, which is only two months, which really doesn't give you a whole lot of time, which if we're going to be earning 12 seasonal points for weekly challenges and we're going to be stuck with the 30 seasonal points when it comes to the seasonal challenges, that gives you a grand total of 96 for an eight week period of seasonal points you can earn unlock. And also you got to keep in mind with the new exchange, there's going to be more tempting ways to spend your seasonal points. So you really want to try to optimize your game time while playing because obviously with the seasons only lasting about too much each time, give or take a week or two, probably a little bit more on the side of caution right there, but you can kind of keep in mind about what you need to do when playing the MCC. If you're really concerned about getting your unlocks, breaking up to say like your blue shield level like I have right here, you really just kind of progress your way through the season pass and also maybe stockpile some season points as well. So when season seven rolls around, which will likely have the custom game browser, which I don't think will be get dealing out any ex earned XP for custom games. So that's certainly going to be something to take in consideration while playing season seven as well. So you want to try to maximize your game time to get as many seasonal points and as much XP as possible, because I think season seven might be a little more difficult to get more XP because of the custom game browser and not, not earning XP for custom games. If you guys like these tips and trick videos, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll like to see what else I can help you out with in the MCC. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you check out the videos on the screen right now if you missed any content from me recently or been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.